What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. Today I'm showing you how to install Troll Store on your device. Troll Store is this application over here that allows you to install any application on your device without signing it. So you don't have to worry about developer certificates or seven days pre-signing or alt store or stuff like that. Everything installed remains installed forever. So let's see how you can install Troll Store on your device. And I do have a written guide for this as well if you want to check it out. This tutorial applies for all compatible Troll Store devices and iOS versions. To do this, we're going to use Troll Restore, which is a program developed by this developer over here, available on GitHub. To get it, you go here to the uh, GitHub repo. I'm gonna link it down below. You click on the Releases tab over here, and this one works on Linux, macOS, as well as Windows. So even if you're on Windows, don't click away. This tutorial applies for you as well, and the commands are very similar. Just that for Windows, you're going to get this one over here, the exe file, while for macOS, you would get the one from here, depending on which one you have. For the newer macOS models, you're going to get this one over here. But definitely go ahead and reference the text version of this guide down below in the description. And this works with iOS 17, iOS 16.7 RC, iOS 15, 14. There's a lot of iOS versions that are supported by Troll Store, so let's install it. But first, I'm going to have to get rid of it from this device. All right, now once you have the Troll Store zip file, you're going to get the Troll Store exe or the binary for macOS, and you're going to have to open a terminal terminal command and on Windows that's going to be control R and you're going to write CMD on it and press enter. You're going to see something similar to this is the command prompt on Windows. Now with the device connected and unlocked as it is right now on my computer, I'm going to drag and drop the binary being it the exe or this one over here for macOS, drop it in here in the terminal or the command line and press enter. Now it's going to ask you this, please specify the removable system app you want to replace with Troll Store Helper. Now what is the Troll Store Helper? The Troll Store Helper allows Troll Store to continue being persistent after a reboot so that you don't have to reinstall it again every single time you reboot the phone. It's a persistence helper and it usually replaces one of the main system applications. So if you take a look in here, I have a couple of them, but the tips one over here in this installation has been replaced. If you open the tips application instead of it, you get troll store helper is this one over here. And you can see we can uninstall it, but you shouldn't do that. And then it says troll store installed 2.1. Now, as I said, this keeps troll store being active even after a reboot. It also makes your application installed using troll store to continue working after a reboot so definitely specify an application now in this case for my device is going to be the tips application if you don't have the tips application installed you have to install it from the app store and if you're using it for some reason you can replace it with other built-in applications anyway you're going to write here tips or the name of the application that you want press enter and it's going to automatically connect to the device that's why I said you should have it connected right here on the computer and yeah it rebooted the device it says in here replacing the tips app with troll store helper and this is the udid or unique device id of my device so you have to have your device connected and unlocked so that it can perform a restore now you can see my device because it disconnected from the computer from the view on quicktime but what it shows right now is the apple logo and it will do a quick restart and it will take a few moments then you're going to see it says make sure to turn find my iphone back on if you use it after rebooting so yes it's important to not have find my iPhone enabled before you do this procedure. Now it says in here make sure to install a proper persistence helper into the app you chose after installing Troll Store. Right so after the reboot we can now go into the tips application that we have over here and it says Troll Store is not installed. That's what you're going to see. And you have the option to install Troll Store. We're going to do that. I'm going to tap in here and it says installing Troll Store on the device. It's going to respring in a second and we're here and this is a beta but we do have Troll Store now and I do have my applications since I decided to preserve them when I uninstalled it. Now, if you go back here in the tips application, you have to also register the persistence helper, which is very important because otherwise after a reboot, your apps will stop working. So we tap in here, register persistence helper, and that's about it. You can now use Troll Store to install whatever application you want. So you can press the plus button over here and install IPA file, and you can select whichever you want. So I'm gonna get the iDevice Toolkit IPA, which is my own application, press install, and that's it. I'm gonna do force installation over here because I already have the app, but 
you can see it's open here and it works. So yeah, that's essentially it. That's how you do it. That's how you install Troll Store on your device. Troll Store, as I said, supports a variety of iOS versions and it supports essentially from iOS 14 all the way up to iOS 17.0. Troll Restore, the program that we have used in this video, this one over here, supports essentially from iOS 15.2 all the way up to iOS 16.7 RC and iOS 17.0. Troll Store does not support any version newer than this. And that's because the core trust bug that is being used in the troll store has already been patched. For Windows users, the procedure is exactly the same. You connect the device to the computer, make sure it's unlocked, make sure the computer is trusted, and then you run the exe file over here in command line, so in the terminal from Windows. And it's already automatic, you just have to type tips inside the application for the program, and that should be it. The rest you do on the device just like I did in this video. So it's the same for Linux as well, although I'm not sure any of you use it, but if this doesn't work for you and your device is running iOS 16 or 15, there might be another option for you to try and that is the Troll Installer X. I already have a full tutorial right here in text format, but there is also a full tutorial on the channel as well, I'm gonna link it down below. And with this you can install Troll Store directly from the device, but it only works before iOS 17.0. The Troll Installer X doesn't support iOS 17, while the Troll Restore version supports iOS 17 as well. Well, that's the biggest difference. Troll Installer X application is this one over here. It's actually quite great. It's very stable. You can do it directly on your device. And if you're running iOS 14.0 up to 16.6.1, this should be the de facto way of installing Troll Store. However, this doesn't support iOS 17 at all. That's why Troll Restore exists. And uh, yeah, you have here option to clear cached kernel and verbal login so that you can see when there is an error. You just press install Troll Store over here and it does it automatically. It does everything directly on the device, which is great. But yeah, that's the major flaw. It doesn't support iOS 17.0, so you're going to have to find the alternative in that case. But if you have any of the compatible versions, 14.0 up to 16.6.1, this is just great. As you can see, it asks you where to put the persistence helper. That would be it. So it's pretty easy to use this application, especially if you don't have a computer. So yeah, that's essentially it. Both software are up to date and both of them are open source here on GitHub. Check them out in the link below. This video is brought to you by 8 Sec. If you're interested in developing your own jailbreak or if you want to learn how iOS security works, their offensive iOS internals course over here is just great. It's a self-paced course containing over 14 hours of iOS related videos. So you get to learn about the iOS kernel, about iOS security, user land, sandboxing, code signing, and so on. So if you want to learn how to find vulnerabilities for iOS and exploit them, this is a very great place to start because a lot of you ask me, how can I learn to build jailbreak? Well, this kind of course is one of the ways you can do that. And it does cover a lot of things in depth, including basic ARM assembly and stuff like that. Definitely check it out in the link below. There will be a link that takes you directly to this page. In the description, you're going to find the bill of materials for what you need in this tutorial, all the download links, all the tutorials, and of course, the uh, compatibility chart. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.